Hi, traders. Welcome to Quick Tips for Thinkorswim. I'm Connie Hill, Senior Manager, Trading and Derivatives at Charles Schwab. Today's quick tip is creating a custom order template. For those of you that are creatures of habit, you might find this appealing. As we discuss here today, what we talk about is for information informational and educational purposes. Don't consider it a recommendation. Options carry a high level of risk and are not suitable for all investors. We're going to come over here to the trade tab. And we're going to suppose that you're a person that likes to put together credit spreads. And so we're going to go ahead and put together a credit spread. I've got stock Apple sitting here. And we're just going to say uh, we're going to use the September options here. And we're just going to say sell vertical. Now, by setting the sell vertical, we're creating something here where we're on this template when we save it that we're saying, hey, we like it to just be a difference of whatever the next strike price is, $2.50. If we were somebody that said, no, I really like to do this as a $5 widespread, we would want to come down here and change our $220 to a $217.50. Okay, this will make more sense as we go along. The default here is 10 contracts. I'm going to change this one to just do one contract. But if you're somebody that typically trades five contracts, 10 contracts, 20 at a time, you'd want to put in your quantity there that you want to have flood in to this order once we create it. Now we have the first part of this order set up. The next part of the order is we're going to create a one cancels other order, a first triggers OCO. So that means if it finds the first condition that we set up, it's going to exit and it'll cancel the second one. If it's the second condition that it hits first, that's fine. It'll go and execute that and cancel the second order. So we want to make sure we have a first triggers OCO set up here. Now let's go create our first exit condition. We're going to say create opposite order. And with this opposite order, what we're wanting to do is say, hey, if we get a profitable target exit, if we capture a chunk of that 65 cents or whatever that credit is, get us out of the trade. Now, sometimes you might go through and just put the math. Okay, this way it's going to calculate it for you automatically so that it does what you want each time without having to go through and run all the numbers. So we're going to start out here. We're going to change this man to a trigger. And then on the trigger, we're going to come over here. Notice this is a plus and a minus. We're going to click on this twice until it changes to a percentage. Now, in this first percentage, we're going to say, hey, if we get 75% of our credit, get us out of the trade. So we're going to put in a minus 75%. And that means, hey, when that value has shrunk, that amount, get us out. Now we're going to create another opposite trade here. So let's go ahead and say create opposite order again. It's uh, down here on this last row. We are going to change this. This is going to be a stop order for us. So let's go in and put it in as a stop. And then we're going to come out here, change this man to a triggers. And we're going to do something similar. We're going to say, we're going to put this to a percent and say, all right, if this order gets 100% going against us, okay, then get us out of the trade. Uh, so basically, that would mean that it's down 66 cents instead of being a credit of 66 cents. We're going to say, if we don't want it to go to the max loss, let's just go ahead and get out. So on here, we're going to put in a plus 100%. Now, each of these orders, we want to have them be good till canceled. We don't know if or when they're going to trigger for us. So we need to have it in there good till canceled. Now, at this point, you're ready to save your template, but I want to reinforce what exactly we're saving here. We are saving a put credit spread order worth whatever the value is that comes in just with one contract only. And we're saying if we get 75% of the credit, whatever is flooded in here, get us out of the trade. Trigger a limit order, out we go. Or say things don't go our way. Then it goes 100% against us. 
then let's go ahead, let's get out of the trade there as well. And this is gonna be a stop order, so it's gonna trigger a market order. We don't know what the price would be at that point, but we just know, hey, if that condition exists, we just need to get out of the trade. Now at this point, we are going to save our custom order template. And it's just gonna be this key here, this icon, just to the left of the delete order. So let's go ahead, we're gonna click on that. Let me kind of move this to the center of our screen. And it's going to come up with a name for this order template. So it's naming this first triggers OCO, one vertical cell, which it is. And then it says trigger plus 75%. And then there's not enough room to say everything else in here. Now, you can keep this name as it comes up, or you can change it to something that maybe makes sense to you. And so if we were going to do that, I'm just going to erase all of this. And what I might do so we can fit more information on here, uh, maybe type in first this way, TGT triggers and maybe TGR here, triggers uh, OCO. And then the first OCO, I'm gonna put minus 75%. So I know, hey, that's my capture if we get 75% of it, plus 100% on this second order. Now this just is kind of my shorthand, so I know what it is that we've put in here. Let's go ahead and hit save and let's show you how this might work. Now at this point, we don't have to send the order through. Normally, if you're using it, you might, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and delete it so we're starting from scratch. So now this time when we go build that order, we can use our custom template. So we're gonna start out here on the 2250 put side again. I'm going to do a right mouse click. This time we're gonna say sell custom. And then we see our typical things that we're used to with an OCO bracket, a stop or a stop limit. And now we've got a new section. We've got a new something here and this is what we just created and saved. So if I go ahead and select on it here, it's gonna recreate that order just the way we saved it. If we get 75% of whatever this credit is, out of the trade we go. If it goes 100% against us, we want to be out of the trade as well. Now, again, this is for somebody that is a creature of habit, and you might make different ones. You might make some that are based on a $5 wide spread. You might make some based on a $10 wide spread. You know, you can create various ones. But now you know how to do that. And so go ahead, create your first custom order template, try it out in paper money, do several examples of it, make sure it is working the way that you want it to. Have fun guys.